Hey y'all, it's me, Siren on the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So let's get into this reading for our Leos, okay? So Leos, let's see what's hidden from you. What's hidden from the Leos? What's hidden behind the scenes from the Leos? Leos, oh shoot. What's hidden from the Leos? on the bottom of the deck so okay i see you starting something new leo so be grateful be grateful that these new cycles are here for you okay i feel like somebody is um guarding and protecting their energy or they need to okay protect your energy from these codependent people there could be some codependent people around you pretending to love you um but i also see that there is somebody here that is desiring you all right, so let's clarify this, Leo. So what does this mean for you? So let's see what this means. Leo, Leo, Leo. New Year's. New Year's. What is New Year's for the Leos? Okay, so people from your past are kind of sad that you're closing out these cycles and you're moving forward. Like you're changing, Leo. And they're like people who are used to you being how you are, they're they're sad about it. This is causing a major time moment for somebody here because it's like they're being left with like these two pinnacles here. They're all in their head or they don't really have a lot of like footing here. And they're trying to understand how, what they're going to do next. You know, now that you're choosing to move forward, they're like, Okay, well, Leo's going within themselves and, you know, they're they're ghosting everybody. Don't want to talk to nobody. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do? And you could be the emperor, so you could be like the leader or a boss here within this group. And, um, yeah, I just feel like you're choosing to, you know, go within yourself and collaborate with God and just go try something different. What's this gratitude here for the Leo's? Gratitude. I feel like you're you're counting your blessings, finding more things to be grateful about instead of, you know, being in the kind of mopey, sad energy. I feel like these people who are sad about you doing this are codependent. Like, I feel like there's somebody who you're watching, who you see as a star, and you're grateful for this person's energy. This person has um, a very loving and nurturing spirit and is helping you to heal. I also feel like you are healing. Yeah, you're healing. Okay. There's a lot of people who are just like, oh my God, how is this person healing? Why are they healing? What does this mean? They, um, but yeah, I feel like you would be healing from childhood wounds, you know, things that you went through as a kid. You could be healing from night. You could be uh, going through, you know, nightmares. But yeah, this is more so what I feel like this this family group you walked away from, um, or this group of people who you usually hang out with, your usual crowd, you walked away from them because you're you're learning how to love on yourself and. These people over here in the nine of swords, like worried, stressed out because they can't get into your energy, right? They're not, they're not able to feed off of you. You walked away, totally sailed away, closed out this cycle, you're done. And this is justice. And you doing this is going to allow good karma to come into your life. And, you know, some people might get some bad karma because, you know, secretly behind the scenes, these people were codependent upon you. They were not, they were not genuine. For this catfish card, they weren't genuine. They weren't genuinely around you because they loved you. They were only around you because they benefited off of you being unhealed and toxic. So what's this catfish part here? <clears throat> catfish. <clears throat> These could have been people who you work with. Or they could be somebody. Or you could have a co-worker here. This could be a Gemini. Or this could be somebody wanting to come and work with you in love or whatever. This could be somebody who's like, I have a love offering that they're coming towards you with. But it's a catfish. Reject that shit. I see you rejecting it. I see you being like, nah, bro. I ain't stupid. This could be a Gemini um, who is giving you fake love. <clears throat> could have been using a kid, working with a kid to kind of like push this fake love onto you or something like that. But it, no, I feel like you ended this whole situation and you see the truth, Leo. You see what's, what's really going on. 
and you're trusting that God will have something more for you. What's this Christmas here for Leo? Yeah, you're you're creating you're creating new you know new beginnings. You're using your gifts. You see, right now you're a master manifester. You can put, make something pop up in your life, but poof. Okay, you 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 got some good gifts. Okay, I also see that there could be somebody getting pregnant or somebody trying to get pregnant. This person who is coming towards you with this love offering, trying to be in your energy, they could just be coming through trying to get pregnant real quick so that you can move around. Okay, what's this Christmas? <clears throat> yeah, you're manifesting your blessings, though. You're manifesting blessings. You're manifesting um, your wish fulfillment is here. Okay, it's not near. It's here. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're going to be reconciled with somebody who you're going to be able to give to. And not only are you going to be able to give to them, they're going to give back to you equally and evenly. So it's going to be like an even exchange. Y'all are going to get along very well. Okay, and this connection, whatever this is, is going to be protected, all right? So this is something that you're not going to tell a lot of people. You could be um, putting down your player card, putting down your pimp card, because you want something stable here with the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. So let's check out this guarded card for Leo. What is guarded? Mm, guarded. So somebody could be trying to guard their intuition or they or it's like you could be guarding your heart here. You be guarding your heart or this could be somebody um, you're moving forward towards somebody who, you know, could be guarded or you're trying to just guard the fact that you're going towards this person or something like that. What's guarded here? Yeah, this is somebody who's um, a hermit. Whoever you're, whoever is coming towards you or that you're going towards is very secluded. Like they don't rock with a lot of people. Okay, they don't, they don't, they don't do. Yeah, this is somebody who you're going towards. You're moving towards this partnership, and you don't rock with a lot. This person don't rock with a lot of people. They don't, they don't be in a lot of people's face. They don't have very many friends, if any at all. They're very to themselves, and um, yeah, they don't play that shit. Whoever this is. So let's see, um, what's this? This could be you or this could be the um, the other person here with this other cup. But like I said, it's going to be this gift. This person is a gift to you. So you're moving from a player-like energy into a relationship or a partnership with somebody who is very much, um, very much like, me and you and and that's it like they don't they don't they don't vibe with too many people they don't do the third parties they don't do a bunch of people in their business you know it's going to be a, a very much private and abundant relationship a successful relationship i saw the um the will of fortune here y'all are going to be very much a power couple together and able to manifest very much very well together okay what's this codependent energy here Codependent energy with a chariot fly, flying out in the reverse. Somebody's trying to stop you from moving forward. They could know where you're trying to go. Yeah, you're you're in love with this person. This person is in love with you. The King of Cups tried to come out. What's this codependent codependency? These people are um, codependency. These people who are codependent with you are are codependent upon you. Are trying to cause conflict for you. They're love bombing you. They're coming in trying to kiss your ass, but they know that they're about to get left out in the cold because they're toxic and they're low vibrational. And like I said, you're healing, so you're in the energy of get the fuck off of me, get the fuck back, don't play with me, leave me alone. Okay, and this is Justice Leo. All right, so you're using your intuition with that Page of Cups as well. What's this Desires card for Leo? Someone's desiring you, desiring you. Um, Queen of Pentacles, so somebody who's very nurturing, desires, desires, okay? So power couple again, power couple. But I feel like you're, okay, this could have been, this could have been, hold on, what is this? Leo, desires. Yeah, so, so you could be, this person, the person who you're walking away from, you could be moving from one relationship to the next. This person still desires you. They desire to like, you know, be sexually active with you or something like that. And this person you could have been with for a very long time. This is going to be um, 
uh, this would be, uh, y'all could have been married or something like that. Y'all could have just really been together for a long time where y'all could have had some type of business together. But I feel like you're getting, you're walking away from that situation because it was really all about sex and it's over with now. I see you moving forward. You don't, you no longer have the desire to be there with that person, but they're, but expect them to still kind of always be trying to come in between. Like I said, it was all about sex, but you're in this king of, you're in this, you're moving from a king of, uh, Knight of Wands, King of Wands energy into a Knight of Swords energy. You're cutting this situation off because you want real love. I see you getting ready to follow your heart. Yeah, you want real love. You want your match. You want a passionate love, a love that's that's more than just about money. Um, or this, yeah. Yeah. You want some, and you're destined to be with this person here. But then again, I see that this, this person, let's take this another way. You, If you're not in a relationship right now, you're actually, you could just be single and you're moving towards something new this person is going to match you on all levels and i mean y'all gonna match on all levels and king of swords king of swords queen of swords king of cups queen of cups um king of wands king of wands king of wands king of wands queen of wands king of pentacles knight of um king of pentacles queen of pentacles king of pentacles yeah, but I feel like somebody is somebody is freeing themselves. But see, somebody is single, ready to invest as well. Or somebody could have been dealing with something for a long time here. Take it how it resonates. You could be leaving somebody where all y'all had was just like, you know, sex and money to go towards love and happiness and um, equal give and take. Or you could genuinely be going towards somebody where everything is going to be just be matched out. Y'all going to match up perfectly and y'all are going to be able to be single and independent on your own. And, you know, you're both a good catch. But together, y'all going to be like a force to be reckoned with. <clears throat> yeah, somebody's moving forward. Yeah, moving forward. You've been through a lot, Leo. So I see you just choosing to move forward as you should. So... Congratulations, Leo. Congratulations on choosing you. That's that's a big step to be able to, you know, choose you after being stuck in a situation for so long. It's a good thing to just finally choose yourself. So I am happy for you. Because what's waiting on the other side is something that was definitely going to be worth it. All right, Leo. Whether you're Leo or not, whether this resonated or not, type in the comments, I am victorious and know that you are. Go ahead and subscribe. See you in the next one. Later.